Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. I have continued to expand out the aqueducts coming along here. Things have been cleaned up and going on there and we are ready to kaboom. To kaboom. Not quite ready to go 100% kaboom, but we are ready to kaboom a fair bit. I took out a little bit here. Um, so we've done that there. We can blow this up here. It'll be quite nice. We can put those back in there. They've got a lot of stuff to put down here. That's fine. But we can kaboom over here, which is quite nice. So let's kaboom uh, this one. It's not the whole level. We need to go down even lower than this. But um, oh. uh, yeah. Uh, let's kaboom uh, this one, and that one's going to be the one that runs all the way along. And we'll hopefully clear up a lot of the area around here. We still need to get quite down to even even lower than this level. We need to go down way further than this. Um, but uh, slow and steady, slow and steady. Let's get rid of those ladders there. We won't need those anymore. Boom, 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 boom. I like doing the, I like doing the long trails. I like doing the long trails. Well, um, goes for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages. And there we go. Okay, okay. So we need to get up there and blow that up. Uh, I think by one. Are we at one there? Are we at three there? No, we're at three there. This is three. So that means this needs to be one and that needs to be one. And then this all up here needs to be three. Which will be the same as this one over here. So we're going to have to do this all like in one go. So this goes down by three, this goes down by two, ends up this level here. And then we'll blow the entire platform up in one big kaboom. Which would be awesome. Uh, so let's run a uh, road around the back of this. So we can get down there. Uh, we'll run a couple of shoots off it as well. Um, we can get up there, go around. I should probably put a way up over here as well, to be honest with you. But it's fine for the minute. It's fine. It's fine. Um, this is still working absolutely fine. This is doing that. We're basically down to fermented caspers and just call rabbi, of which we have plenty. Plenty, plenty. Um, the fermented caspers aren't going great. We do have five hundred five and a half thousand caspers, so... I think it's because we don't have the storage for fermented casper. I think we've got like one somewhere here. That's it. So, uh, yeah, we'll get more in. We'll definitely get more more storage in and more processing going on here. Still haven't decided if I want to go up there. Um, I have turned off half our machines. Like, half, uh, we were, we're more than half. We're running two of each machine now instead of six. Because um, I needed the beavers. Uh, well, I didn't have enough beavers to get in the builds to get things done because we've got so many in the farms. Could have shut down the farms. I know, but... But no, we didn't. We didn't. These are all high priority. They're not all high priority, so I should probably change that as well, just in case. But yeah, um, right. That can go. Uh, this road here can go. This road here can go. Um, ba -dum. That is a road that is going. Um, so this is the outside road. That's that there, that's fine. So that's that's the outside right along it, and that's the cross, so that's dead centre. So I want to put a tribute to of ingenuity in there, which is the big monument. That wants to go in there. Um I put it on ground level, I think, and we'll just run power line up to it, and that'll be fine. Um and then the, the earth repopulator is gonna go here. And as you can see, covers a very big area. So that'll be fine. So it'll cover all of our well most of our um industry as well, so that's fine. And then the other the other ones will just dot in around here because everyone will come back here to sleep because this is this is sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Um uh I got rid of this. So, yeah. Um I'm kind of thinking about opening these and just shutting these off and having this pour down. And then we can have these start running. Let's do that. Let's do that. What height did we set these to? What do we do? We did 0.75. If we come down to 0.75 like that, um, and then I close these for the time being, then do the same here. Close these two. Set this to 0.75. Then what we should be able to do is open this. Uh, it wants to be set to the same as this one. So 0 0.75 and contamination above 0 0.1. So contamination is 0 0.1. This is 0 0.75. 
Take that box, take that box, open a box, auto, and uh, and then close it because I haven't put any permeable floor up there. <laughs> I completely forgot that these are not solid. I haven't put any impermeable floor inside this thing. Um, oops. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't even know anymore. Uh, boom. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, you did not do that. There we go. Right. Okay. So they can put the impermeable floor in. They can't actually get into uh, the center there. I've just realized. Um, because there's no way for them to do it, so I want to put in uh, a ladder. No, ladder there. Um, I do need to put actually not there. I need to put a um, levy, wasn't it? There. Oop. And get rid of that one. Put a levy there. And get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. A levy there. A levy there. There we go. And then we'll put in. Uh, Like that and then a road come down and a road come down and because that will allow them to build inside there. There we go, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That works out pretty well. Um I've had to re-enable all the woodcutters because we actually ran out of wood. Um leaving the game running for so long, we actually ran out of wood completely, so that's a thing we need to do. Uh, this is done here, so we need to do a next the next explosives here. So let's see where the next set of explosives are going to exactly be. So let's just grab a dynamite. Let's hold X, and then we can line it up there and there. Same here, not that one. This one, line it up there, there. Okay. I might just put a like, bridge over the top of this just to. Although, then again, we don't actually need this road here. This road through the centre here um, shouldn't be here. So they can put the dynamite in there. Let's actually make that high priority. Is that, is that, is that right? Is that right? Yes, it is right. It is right. Okay. I do, I do like this. Just hold I do like this. It's very, very useful. So let's um, prioritize that and that because we need to figure out uh, mangroves going to have to go in here um, as well as, I mean, right. Okay. We're back. Sorry about that. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Mangroves. We're doing mangroves in here, um, and I was thinking, oh, well, let's put anything that requires them to get have wet fur. So the uh, swimming pools, I think, are the only thing. You can also put mud baths underwater, like in one layer of water, and that um, allows beavers to get uh, wet fur in mud baths as well. Um, but we're not putting them there because we put them up in here. Mud baths won't go up in here, unfortunately, because they're uh, well, they will they will actually go up in there. But uh, well, I think we'll just put swimming pools in. Mud baths can be somewhere else. We'll figure the mud baths out. Uh, we have space. We have space between these two here. So you see there's plenty of gaps down there for things and stuff. And yeah, So there'll be food and water down this side. Food and water down this side. Um, this will be mangroves up here. And then next to the food and water, we can have amenities and things and stuff. And there. Also stuff on the roofs and things. And Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll be good. I think we're good. We've got to get a few things in here, but not a great deal. I should put some more teeth grindstones in. Um, that is something I haven't done. Um, because in case our beavers break their teeth, we've only got the one. We've only needed the one so far, to be honest with you. I haven't heard of beavers um, suffering at all for that. Uh, oh, yeah, we were going to do this as well, weren't we? Um, Uh, have we put in another tapestry, not tapestry, um, 
We also need a tapper shack as well. I need somewhere to put trees in. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget that. Uh, so if we put in a forester there. I think we'd have to um, like pave off all of that. Because uh, otherwise the, the, uh, the you can't get out and get around. So that, that will let you get out and around. Um, and then uh, we're going to put in... Um, we're going to put in... More woodcutters in there. I can't remember what we were going to do in there. I can't remember what we were going to do in there. I remember wanting to move this for some bizarre reason. Was it, do I want to even move that? Do I want to put it... Do I want to put that on top of that? Would it... Would, no. No, we don't put it on top of that because it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. I could put it there. No, apparently I can't put it there. Why not? Oh, because underneath. It hits the uh, thing. So, yeah. So, go there. Okay. Um... Let's put a uh, grindstone over here. Let's do that. I can't remember exactly what I was going to do here now. I'm sure somebody will let me know. Uh, let's put a grindstone there and there. Okay, um, so beavers can come to the centres to grind their teeth. Um, might get rid of the central lumberjacker as well. We'll get rid of the central lumberjack. We'll also get rid of this guy here. Um, and let's just put in the oak trees around here again. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what else he was going to do in there, but that, that'll, that'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Okay, let's detonate this out. Pop. Detonate this out. Pop. So then this can be extended down to there. Okay. So, how about we look into a bit of housing? Because we need to move this housing over anyway. So we need to do that as well. It means I put this in a really bad location. But... Right, so first and foremost, let's go around here. Like that. And uh, delete the path. Uh, and we need to put in a tribute to ingenuity in here. This is going to sit in here and it's going to face away from the aqueduct. It's going to face that way. Not the devices. It needs power. It does need power, so we need to run power up to it. So we could either run power up and back down again from it, so it runs power through it, or we could just tap into one side and run power that way. I think tapping into one side is going to be the better way to do it. Let's go down. Uh, so there is no uh, power running through here because we haven't actually done anything for the power. Um, so that's still a thing we need to sort out. Uh, let me... Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. Put a cross junction in there. And we'll blow up this side as well. And then we will run a power line. Where's the outside line? So that's the outside line there. So we'll run a power line down to there. And we'll run it to there. But on like that. There we go. Okay. Boop. And then we can have power come out either side, so we can tap into this if we need to. We can tap into it either side if we need to, which will be fine. Um, this needs to be sorted out here, but that involves getting rid of the mushroom farms, and I really want to move the mushroom farms before I just get rid of them. I think the mushroom farm should go on this side over here, and then we'll do this. So let's, let's also look at this here. So let's see if we can't get another layer up. Um, so we're going up here with a ladder. Uh, so in order to get another... I can't put one on top of there. We can put these ones in, can't we? Yep, we can put those in. Um, how high do I want to do it? Um, what if we went... We could do it three high. That would work. Uh, and maybe I'll put it right at the end. Do a support. So let's do two high. Then do a support. I uh, don't need that. I need to that one. And then three like that. Okay. And you can actually get up this here and actually walk on top of this like this 
dun, 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 dun. I technically don't need that. Um, we could do it with a single support and have floating platforms above them and just put in like a um, an oil press uh, could sit uh, like there. And another one could sit there just on a single platform. I could do that. Uh, there's no power going to them. That's that's the only awkward bit. Um, is running past them because I can't split this because there's no way to split the coming down and then yeah there's no uh so the power's gonna have to come down from over here um and maybe run along the back I think doing that's going to be the best way of doing it though so we've got space there we've got space to do other things if we want to do other things like we can run across this way and do stuff and and, and sort that out there but it kind of I mean, it's not technically a waste but i don't know how many all presses we need but um, i could fit four in up here one two three and four if i could just tap into that power but i don't think i can anywhere i could potentially come out and come back up again which would be really bizarre way of doing it but not impossible um, it's just that the vertical power shafts don't have any um you change from vertical to horizontal you can't put a horizontal a connection in on the side unless i install the mod to do it or i don't think i can use a flywheel to do it either i think they are uh no they they don't allow connections to be Uh, don't like it to be on either side so that wouldn't work for us so um they would have to come down and then maybe come back up again it isn't difficult to be honest with you we, we could remove that and replace it with a um a cross and then come back up here with the power line and plug into the back a bit convoluted uh Be the best way to do it i think <laughs> to be honest with you i think that's probably the best way to do it and then we put um them in there uh the press only does um canada oil that's that's all it does it doesn't here. so we don't need ridiculous amounts of canada oil so maybe four's even overkill a little bit for it i don't know um maybe we'll go three one here one here one here and the power line would come down but it wouldn't come down from there because that wouldn't be in between them but it could come down and tap in and we have two there let's do that let's do two let's do two so get rid of that and that let's put in a Too high a platform and let's put it in there and then do you that way put in there and there so you've got access to the the ladder put in the oil presses on the back so one can i get two in there if i did that Maybe we'll make this platform a bit longer. See if we can get... Can we get three in? If I did that? One, two... No, can't get three in. But even the longest one won't let me put three in. Hmm. Okay, okay. That is the longest... Yeah, that is the longest one. Right, so we have to come up this side and run one in as well. Um... put them the other side as well i'm really not sure which way around i want to do this uh if i put that in there and then put one in uh, not there right, if I put that in there and then did it would have to be there it would have to be there hold up um no, i can't go that way because that's in the way Oh no, that's not in the way. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Uh, right. Okay. That's interesting. You can run platforms through, through, through it, through. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we could put in oil press, oil press, oil press. And then one, two, and three there. And run the power down. Hold on. If I flip these buildings around, if I flip, flip the building around there. So we went one, two, and three. No, the power line would connect to where the, the door is. That would be awkward. So I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Um... Hey. I don't also like that. I don't like the look of it. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I don't know what I'm going to do here. But I do. I do want to do it on another layer. But I'm not. It, it's it's easily achievable. It's easily achievable. But I don't like the look of what I'm doing. So I'm thinking of putting it above here. But then this is going to be. Uh, you run out of canola anyway, so we can get rid of you. Um, this is going to have another set of these guys here. Um, so um, the fermenters. And I don't know if I want to put them on the back of that or move them forward by one. I think we're moving forward by one. That. They can't have any power come down to them that way. They have to have power connected through the back of them. But that power could come up and feed the stuff above them. Yeah. So then if we put in a double platform here and here, like we just did. We're on a road down here. So let's uh, copy these. So these are Casper at the front. They are soya beans at the back. And there are mushrooms on the bottom. So I've only got three doing the mushrooms. That might be why we haven't got that many mushrooms available. So we might have to have more mushrooms. But I, again, I can stack these as well if we wanted to go up. Hmm. Yes, not too sure. Not too sure. But if we yeah, if we did um two two and then a two in there as well. But put in the four length ones here. And then put in that there, and that there, and that there. You can get access to these two from here. We can get across to that one easy enough. That won't be a problem. Um Power could come down from here. I suppose it could come out and down behind them as well. That's that's an option. Uh, I just wonder if I need more fermenters. I think I might need more fermenters. Which means I need more space for doing the... Uh, the um the um the oil press um i can't want to call it a squasher my brain keeps going it's called a squasher and that's what an oil press kind of is but it's not uh, and my brain uh, a juicer i think my brain's going juicer that's what it is for the juicer um uh which is weird because juice is not a generic term that i generally used um by me so i don't know why my brain keeps going to the juicer um because it's making oil it's not juicing i don't know why i'm stuck with that but um there's also a coffee brewery as well which we need to make and the food factory as well um these are all things i need to make food actually needs a lot more space than i have planned to give it yep food does need a lot more space than i plan to give it we do have power come down here i could have power come along the sides here and we could have food manufactories here for doing like these two and then some over here for doing these two and some over here for doing things at the back so we could spread the food processing out um and just remove it from here and put something else in here um i don't know what we put over here i'm starting to think that's going to make more sense it's going to make more sense to have the food processing dotted around um, because otherwise they're getting kohlrabis, bring the kohlrabis up here. Well, they're not just eating kohlrabis, but the, the cassavas are coming right down here. If we ran a film and processed the cassava here, 
then all it has to do is be transported from here over to there. And like canola will be down here. We'll process canola over here somewhere or whatever. Um, coffee can be processed where coffee is. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? That would absolutely make more sense. So, yeah. And then what we'll do, um, let's get rid of this here. We'll leave, we'll leave this here. But what I'll do is I'll change up all of these to be mushroom farms, mushroom fermenters, and then we'll just stack mushrooms on the other side. How does that sound? How does that sound? That's that. I like that plan. Well done. Well done. I like that plan. Good job. Good job. I'm glad, I'm glad you were. Yeah. Uh, the problem is I can't put mushrooms there. Um, because I can't put a staircase in. Uh, not a staircase. I can't put a um, a ladder in there that allows access to go that way and this way. <laughs> oh, typical. Oh, typical. Um, I'd really like to do that though. I really, how how can we? How can we get up? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, let's see. So I want to have, I can't put a ladder in here uh, because if it's facing that way, it will block the path going to the right. If it's facing this way, it'll block the path going to the left. If it's that way, it'll block the path up towards them. And if it's this way, it won't allow access to the um, fermenters. So in that case, we need to do something to get up higher we could like put it here uh, i can't put it here unfortunately but um uh i could put it there can can i hold on, hold on let me just double check i can't no i can't put it in there no okay right just making doubly sure that's not a thing i've missed um so we can't put it inside those um we could put it here and here but then that's blocking the path out also i don't have any storage for that type of food here as well we need storage for the food on the side don't we if we have mushrooms i could do mushroom storage mushroom storage in ladders going up wouldn't be a terrible thing to do um and again we could platform above these and do something above these i don't know i'm being indecisive once again because i don't know um i just don't know how this should look plus we could do storage here for stuff we really want to do as well this there's, there's, there's plenty of space here for doing we don't need once this is done this is all that we need we could happily store mushrooms over this side um so if i was to put in uh the mushroom farms the hydroponic gardens there also the algae as well there's algae as well um there and stack them there's no way for me to get access to the next floor up um we've got a staircase in there we could use that staircase there i don't know what to do I, I don't know what to do so i'm gonna leave it i'm being indecisive and i can't make a decision so i'm not gonna make a decision i'm gonna leave it we're gonna let the beavers build the things we're gonna let the beavers do the stuff and do the things that kabooms are easy to do I, I, kabooms are simple we'll, we'll go back to simpler times um this here thank you everybody for the comments in the previous episode um uh yes maybe uh sawyer um primal uh kaboom uh and chris um uh i could I, um uh uh about uh Bowyuk. Bowyuk? It, it says Chris when I click your name. So um, thank you for all the comments about this here, about how I could change things, do things, do differently. And blah, blah, blah. There are so many ways I could have done things. I could have extended this out here and pushed the water towards this and around. Um, we could have uh, done... Th we, there's so many things I could have done here. And then right at the end of the episode, I put this in here. <laughs> and so everyone that was commenting was like, oh, but obviously... Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. And this works. This genuinely works. Okay, it fills this high enough because it will pour at the end at the same height these are anyway, so it works. Um, the bad tide just closes them, water pours out, and once the bad tide drops below 1%, they open and it goes in, and, and, it, and it works. It just works. And we're not really losing any water uh, because when the, uh, when the drought comes or a bad tide comes, it will lower to this level anyway. So, yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely 100% fine. It's not a problem. So, um, yeah. 
so this works fine but thank you for all the comments and the suggestion of doing this here i think everyone commented on kind of how to do things here in bits and pieces so it's um yeah yeah so uh but that's okay that's okay we got there in the end hopefully we get this done here we get other bits and pieces done for that i just don't have enough builders that's the problem or he says that and all the builders are full which is nice so i think they've got a lot to do i think they've got a lot to do that's the problem so so we'll leave this one here we shall come in next time and by then i may have been able to make a decision maybe but thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>